<laughs> Tobias Gruner that's from his, um, that's his name from yeah, Germany. From Germany, the, Germ the German publication. Uh, I I know it as AMUS. AMUS uh, Auto, Motor and Sport. Unsport. 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 I didn't even know that. I I always read it as Auto, Motor and Sport. But mm. yes, that yeah, it's, it's 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 a car magazine from Germany. All uh, those English words came from German. Exactly, or something. Um, so yeah, he's he he was he, they he didn't even us change the spelling from Stuttgart. Ooh. Yeah, he called us all place. the way from Stuttgart um, this Sunday, this past Sunday, right before you know he was just getting ready. He was he just finished packing up. I guess yeah. head to Australia on the A380, <laughs> Qantas and Emirates. Like, yeah. He and played that down a little bit, but you know, yeah, <laughs> it's not it's, it's not so the, glamorous. It's like the he, 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 <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> uh, we are going to uh, play that interview uh, probably now, probably yeah. soon. Or do we want? Uh, sure, sure. Let's yeah. do it. Pro yeah, all right. It. It's, it's a very cool interview. Yeah, here we go. Here he is. There we go! There hey. we go! <laughs> Guten Abend, Herr Grüner. Guten Abend. I need to decrease the volume yeah, a little bit loud. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, can we turn? Can you understand me? I can. I can. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Can you? Can and you see picture? us? You're perfect, man. You're in HD. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> there we go. Toby. The globe. Good to see you, man. Good to Good see to you see again, you again, man. <laughs> <laughs> the last time we saw each other. I, I I don't remember most of it, but I remember we had a good time. <laughs> yes, definitely. But in Montreal, you always have a good time. I think you know. Yeah, I think yeah. so too, man. I think so too, yeah. Toby. Especially I, with you. <laughs> well, we, uh -uh. we we will see you there uh, um, this this June. Actually, we're all going. And uh, my, yeah. uh, Toby, <laughs> just so, so you know, uh, here's uh, my friend Mike. Hi, he's our producer. Hi. This is Dan. Nice hey, how are you? Cool. <laughs> and and I'm Javier. And uh, yeah, we're 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 giving it we're giving it a shot here to this to this podcast thing. And uh, let me be the first to say we're not worth it, man. We're not worthy of your presence. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, you're making me blush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank, well, thanks for your time. You are, yeah, and, no uh, you're, you're very busy. I know we've, I've been bugging you about this uh, for a little while, and yeah, thank you, thank you so much for for giving us this spot. You got everything ready for Melbourne tomorrow, or what? Uh, yeah, just packed all my bags. You will see them; <laughs> they're right behind me, and uh, yeah, my, all the documents are on the right. You know, passports, accreditation details, stuff like that. You know, visa, nice. uh, papers, all, all ready. Everything tomorrow is ready for the, the year. Uh, tomorrow is. Uh, the day when the, the flight is going from Frankfurt. Nice, nice. nice. How long of a flight is that? Like 12 hours? Uh, it's no, from Germany it's 22 or something. Oh, like wow. <laughs> wow. There's, a, there, there's a stop in, in Dubai. I'm going with Emirates and then with Qantas. So, oh, and one hour, hour stay, stop over in Dubai and then, yeah. But in total, it's something like 22 hours. That's least, crazy. You're on the good airlines, at least. <laughs> nah, yeah. I don't know. No comment on that. <laughs> but this is this is the life of of, a, of an F1 journalist, right? You have to spend tons of hours in the plane every year. Yes, nice. that, that's, you think like it's said, glamorous and cool and stuff like that. And in the beginning, it was, I have to say, but it's not not that good at all. You know, it, 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 in, you're, you're away from home for 150 days a year. You know, wow. the social life is a little bit um, has a little bit of problems. You know, keeping in touch with your friends and family and stuff like that. When you're it. only only here every second weekend. You know, so it's not. Not all of it is good, but I but I won't complain. Definitely, <laughs> no <laughs> doubt. <laughs> it's lots of time lining up for paperwork and things like that too. Bored. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it depends. Some some countries are worse than others. You know, oh. for for Australia, for example, you have to fill out I think five five pages of, uh, of personal details, oh and you have goodness. to pay a fee of one hundred one hundred and forty Australian dollars, which is which is quite yeah. a big sum. Yeah. actually, it's like a hundred euro, for, right? For, yeah, about 100 euro. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, just for the visa, just the visa fee, you know. That's so. It's pretty, pretty. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Fun. I heard from uh, Joe Sayward. He did a, an AMA yeah. on Reddit, and he said that uh, getting to Russia last year was a pain in the air. proverbial yeah. ass. <laughs> you can't swear on, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can swear. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, Russia, Russia is a pretty special case, I have to say. Uh, China is always uh, also a pain in the. You know what? 
and uh, <laughs> USA, of course. But as, at least with USA, you, you have the visa for five years. You know, that okay. you have to do the, oh, wow. the, 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 all the stuff, and you have to go to uh, to the embassy, and there's a little interview. You know, so they they want to have the whole thing, and you have to pay, of course, a fee, stuff like that. And but but you at least have have the visa. You're allowed to go there for five years. But with China, or Russia, or Australia, you have to do it every year. So. Yeah, India was also pretty crazy, you know, but that's gone. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not so unhappy about that. <laughs> India, India was good. It was a good track, though. I yeah, guess but so. it was, yeah, it was okay, but yeah, the rest. Yeah. yeah, the whole atmosphere. Did, did you ever get sick while eating Indian food over there? Uh, no, no, no. I'm, my, my stomach is is pretty tough. <laughs> no problem with that. And I, I actually I like Indian food. Oh yeah, a lot. So love yeah. Indian food. Nice, <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, so, let, why don't we talk about F1 for a little bit? <laughs> Just a little bit, though. Yeah, how about, yeah. Actually, no. Before we get that, because I know, I mean, obviously, you you have to like F one to be to be an F one journalist at least a little bit. But yeah, I for, for sure. Yeah. But but I know I remember uh, talking to you last year that you actually are a fan of North American sports as well. Yes, I'm, com <laughs> I'm completely uh, I'm completely fan of, of, of all of it, but basketball, hockey, of course, NFL, football, all, yeah. all, all, the, all the stuff, <laughs> Even baseball, baseball games I watch, at least the playoffs, you know. But wow. it's, it's, it's wow. hard to stay in touch, you know, when you when you're always on on uh, on the move. Yeah. For example, that just today I um, I've got the the the, um, the NBA. Um, Gamecast or what it's what it's what it's called. Yeah, you know, oh, right, right. We're, we're, we have been watching. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a big Dallas Mavericks fan, of course, with with Dirk Nowitzki, and and was just watching a game which was actually ten days ago. You know, so it's oh, uh, you have after to every after every trip. You know, you have to, to do a little bit of catching up <laughs> yeah. and, and watching all the games. And you have to be careful not to get the, the results. You know, uh, so, so to keep it's, it a little bit more exciting. It's hard, Just, man. This is what we're always talking about, that yeah. there's no service that exists like that for Formula One. Yes, so that's what? a problem, yeah. That's a big it's problem. It's a no, big problem. But even, even more One than, of the biggest. Even more than that, like Google should have a no, a no spoilers mode, where if you're looking for yeah. news about a sport... Yeah, we were talking about can, this can, a week or two you can ago. Set it, like if, if you could say, okay, I haven't seen this game and that game, show me everything else. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, what the I mean? The big problem was uh, was during the, the, the Harris test, you know, the, the first oh, test. Right, yeah. There yeah. was the, the, the Super Bowl, the NFL <laughs> Super Bowl was oh, right, right. on the first testing day. Yeah. And I'm a big Patriots fan, I have to say. <laughs> and, you know, I... I I tried. I, I really tried hard not 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 to get the result of the game, but oh, you know, it was was quite impossible. With all, because I have to keep in keep in touch with the Twitter Twitter oh, community yeah, so. and stuff like that, and everybody was tweeting just, about the game. Just and be like, don't look, don't look, don't look, yeah. yeah. <laughs> spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler yeah. alert. <laughs> not easy. No, I I bet. I mean, it's uh, and it's. Uh, I mean, Germany probably doesn't have like. Do do you get games there live in, in Germany? Yeah, like the, on the, the NFL. Yeah, you have to on on pay TV there. They're quite okay. quite, a, quite a lot of games. Um, and the, the NFL games are, are regularly um, um, shown on on TV, German TV on pay TV at least. But with hockey or, or NBA, you have you have to go on the internet and and, mm. and get yeah. those um, paid yeah. subscriptions. Yeah. So you're not only a fan, you're a committed fan of, of some North American sports. That's good yeah. to see. I, I, I really am. You know. <laughs> and I'd, I'd rather have done it uh, instead of Formula One, you know. Oh, really? Oh. Sports, yeah, but uh, you can't make money of it in Germany. The, the fan base is just not big enough. But, but sure. Formula, one, Formula One is uh, number two, right, right behind that. Now. Really? Because <laughs> I, 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 I heard that Germans are, have, are struggling to go to Formula One, though, to go to the events. Yeah, yeah let's talk yeah. about your home race. Yeah, that's, what, a, oh, that's a big problem. Um, what's big the problem. latest rumors on the fate of this year's Grand Prix? It's gonna happen. Uh, it's gonna happen. Or? Yeah, I don't. I, to be honest, I don't know. The last thing I, I heard was that Bernie is still trying to, to get to get it to get it working. But um, yeah, it's look it's looking bad. I heard what? that Mercedes is, is is pushing a bit, you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure they want it. What, what, what can they I do? Can't right? say too much about. Yeah, that's the, the problem. Is is always with with uh, companies pushing. Uh, event like that you know you, you can't overdo it you know you can't pull, just give give them money for free you know you have to do some kind of promotion you have to 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 yeah i don't i don't know how to say it you have to <laughs> there's rumors uh, this morning now about the money for you get something oh, in return you yeah. just can, can can give them the money for free you know just for the sake of it yeah Oh, there was a little bit of Hello. a lag there. Hello? Yeah, and we just okay. lost you for a can second. Can you see, still see me? <laughs> yeah, I can see you though. You're, you're back. back, you're back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there was uh, okay, rumors this morning about um, Hamilton's contract with Mercedes that uh, he might potentially be signing for the rest of his career. Do you, 
Do you think that has anything to do with the attendance at the German Grand Prix? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> the problem is, you know, with the Hamilton contract, I think that it will signed. It will be signed in the next few few weeks. Or more. It will be definitely signed. That there's no problem with yeah, it. They're just negoti negotiating the money. It's it's going through. Um, yeah, but with the German audience, it's it, it has a lot of reasons. You know, beginning with Michael Schumacher, the the big yeah. years they are yeah. gone, and and all the other problems Formula One has. You know, with the with the rules and the, and the and the cars, the noise, all the stuff. There, there there's a lot of uh, bad publicity for Formula One in the last last uh, yeah years. I have to say. Yeah. So um, specifically the, in Germany. The, 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 yeah, specific, specifically in Germany. Yeah. Oh, okay. German, German fans are. Um, yeah, they're criticizing a lot. I have to say, and the whole the whole Formula One, um, they're criticizing the, the action that the cars are not overtaking each other, which is not yeah. true actually. Yeah, that's, that's true. Not true yeah. at all. If, if you, um, especially in the last years, there was, was yeah. a lot of lot of action beginning with the Pirelli tire problems, but that, at least yeah. something was go, was going on in the races. You know, it, it was not boring. No, that's they true. They always claim that. They always say, oh, I "Remember." The uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Toby, you are not... Schumacher was winning all the, all the races, or Ferrari was winning all the races with uh, half a minute uh, uh, advance in, in, in gap in, 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 uh, in the finish. So, uh, and it was, that was really a boring time, but, but they uh, seem to, seemed to think of it a little bit different, yeah. Because Schumacher was winning. That was all that counted. So it was exciting. Can you see us? Hello? Yes. No. I can oh, okay. Sorry about that. I can. I, I can hear you again. <laughs> okay. Good. See, uh, I, I see. I see you all the time, but I, I sometimes <laughs> the sound is like. Yeah. No, for sure. No, and, and what you're saying, I, it's it's definitely true. I mean, when I uh, like when I started watching F1, that was actually when uh, Montoya joined. Remember Juan Pablo Montoya? Because he's mm -hmm. Colombian. I'm Colombian. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Yes. Ah, okay. But after, like, when yeah, when Schumacher started winning by a lot, I sort of stopped watching Formula One. And then it's it, yeah. like I started watching recently uh, over the past few years because it, it, it is genuinely more interesting now, for sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, but a German audience seems <laughs> somehow seems not to not to understand that, <laughs> that your podcast, your YouTube podcast is not uh, and not not being able to show in in, in, uh, in Germany, you know, not to because there are some some YouTube videos that are blocked for some for some reasons. And really? When I'm now crit criticizing the German fans oh, oh, yeah. for the, for the lack yeah. of support. <laughs> <laughs> if no, you're German, it. just ignore what just happened. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's, I don't know. For for some reasons, there are, there are still some hardcore, a lot of hardcore fans, you know. But it's 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 uh, definitely not in, not enough to fill fill whole uh, whole tracks and 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 give them enough money enough money to to bring back a race. You know, a Grand Prix. Oh, Mike and I here both have. German blood. <laughs> so, I don't know. Hopefully, hoping for a turnaround there. Yeah, yeah. Ho hopefully, <laughs> I don't. I don't understand it. You should come to Germany then and, and buy a few tickets. Maybe then let. Oh, oh well, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Interesting. There I we go. <laughs> we have to. We have to make it at one one point. One, we, one we will. Point. We will make one it to point. Germany because yeah. and I yeah. and ho hopefully during uh, during a race that happens at the Nurburgring. But is that even feasible? Because I know that they're saying Nurburgring is too expensive. Nobody wants it. No, Nurburgring is that, that's a different problem. You know, Nurburgring they just um, they had just have to sell the the, the, the track to because um, it was in public. Oh. It was owned by the public before, and other investors, and they uh, yeah, they got bank bankrupt and they have had to sell to sell the track, and then now they they are new owners. And yeah, they have no money. <laughs> they, they, they can't they can't just pay Ecclestone the, the fee that he likes. So. Um, I heard that they, they. I heard they. They would have given him the track for free, you know, and give him all the um, the income they generate with tickets and, and stuff like that. But that, that wasn't enough. For, Not for enough Germany, for him. So I think with uh, with the Nurburgring, the the it's it's over for at least for for the next couple of years, you know. So Hockenheim is the only only hope you know, hope there's left. So, but yeah, I've, I I would say it's only 50-50 chance that it's that it's going to happen. But we uh, will find out soon. We, you know? Yeah, we will we will find out soon. Yeah, uh, fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, uh, you had a question that you wanted to ask, uh, uh, Toby. About what? <laughs> you have well, that, that was that was basically it about uh, the, just about Hamilton and the German Grand Prix. Yeah, uh, I, I, <laughs> I got a question. I yeah. a question. Uh, what, what made you get into uh, journalism to begin with? I mean, obviously, you have to have a passion for it. Yeah, journalism was was always a passion for me. You know, it, it was. I studied information. 
science in, 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 in the US. Information, yeah, it's called information science. It, it's it's just um, uh, journalism is just a part of it, you know. Information oh, okay. science is also com uh, uh, you can also go into computer science then and, and program uh -huh. stuff or do web, web design stuff like that. And journalism is just one part of it. Okay. But it, it was the the only thing you can study at our university where I lived before. So um, oh, okay, I, cool. I always wanted to go into journalism. Um, yeah. I did work for newspapers before and and, and other stuff. Was, and was so, was sport uh, always like a major yes. major part of that? Yeah, I, I always wanted to go into sport, but you know, during uh, when I when I studied it and when mm -hmm. I started working, I had to cover everything. You know, from doing um, movie reviews, poli poli political uh, political stuff, and, yeah, and local pol uh, policy, and and I don't know what everything <laughs> before. But then when I when I finished. Uh, uh, Studying, finished university. I, I really tried to go into uh, uh, sports journalism, and yeah, you know, that, that it worked. Out, it had worked out with the Formula One. Was just was just luck. I had I have to say. Oh, that's and, and that's great though. Everything worked out fine. Yeah, like yeah, you made out a great well. career out of it. To follow follow Formula One around the globe, you know, when I when I when I started studying, and that was definitely not what I what the I had expected. <laughs> that's exciting for, for, for the rest of my life but, uh, <laughs> I, i'm glad it worked out that way yeah, that's yeah we, we that's too man good. honestly yeah. like you're um i you must be giving amus like half its international traffic i guarantee you because <laughs> yeah. I, I i know that your tweets get posted on sites like reddit and forums all the time yeah and, quite a bit yeah yeah, that, that's good because um, it's it's um, mostly my my colleague Michael Schmidt. He's he's there for ages, you know, in, in Formula One. But he's a bit old school, you know. Yeah. He's uh, he's not on Twitter or Facebook, all that all that electronical stuff that just uh, uh, witch witchcraft for him, you know. He doesn't <laughs> like it at all. He doesn't even have a mobile phone, you know. It's, Typical it's, it's, old person. Uh, yeah. It's like Bernie. No, he's not. He's not at all. You know? <laughs> but he's um, that kind of stuff. He's not interested in. Okay. He doesn't want to know about that, you know. So he he he, he always tells me, and and he. Because he, he has connections you can't imagine, you know, he, has, he, For sure. he knows everybody and everybody knows him. Really, really crazy. You, you really can't imagine like a person like him, a Formula One journalist like him. I, I can't, I can't praise him enough. And and he's really getting all the all the uh, the spicy information, you know, that I'm that I'm tweeting. So um, he's, he's he's the face of our website. I'm just the the younger face, you know, that that, 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 that gets gets all our histories, all stories out out there. I'm mostly doing the the pictures, the technical stuff, and and and, and stuff like that. And oh man, you he's, he's there for the exclusive information. You're doing a great job, man. And I'm sure yeah. I'm sure most people will be happy to know that you are not a green penguin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, finally seeing your face. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I started with that little that little icon. You know, I, I have it. I have, you, you might. I, I don't know if you can see it here in Skype. I use it everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. Is it the it's Linux just, penguin? Just, I know it. it yeah, it's it's the Linux penguin with the little. Um, oh, glasses. nice! Great, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool. I, I think it's recognize, recognizable. So. I, oh, it's a brand on of its own. <laughs> so maybe we could finish with uh, one more F one question. Yeah, go ahead. So I want to talk this week about um, like there's actually quite. I was looking at the F1 website. Quite a few rule changes that are coming in this year. A lot of a lot to do with um, safety and penalties. But uh, I want to ask you specifically about the virtual safety car system because I know like at the end of the year they made a big deal last year about testing it, and I wonder if that is uh, specifically to do with this Bianchi thing. Because I know the last thing you tweeted here was uh, Mercedes making a big deal about their new safety car and uh, medical car. So yeah. do you think this VSC system is going to be used during the year or is it more for yeah, def just, definitely, yeah. just for the image of publicity? Well, uh, they're actually no, going to be no, using no. it? It will definitely work, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, there are different scenarios when one thing um, um, will activate it and the other, and, or the safety car came out, when, when the virtual, virtual safety car will be, Will be yeah released. <laughs> I don't know how, how to say it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's exactly. mostly when 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 a recovery truck is in in, in in the gravel trap something like that. You know when they when the the danger is not not imminent. You know, but when the when the road is blocked or, or there's a there's a, some other kind of, of danger right right on the on the track, oh, okay. um, then the, like always the, the the regular safety car will come out. I think the the virtual safety car is just uh, for it, when in former times there were uh, double double yellow flags waved you know when there's okay. a specific danger zone outside the track so to make clear 
cars have to have to stick to a certain uh, um, um, speed limit minimum time not go over it minimum time you know to 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 control to control that a little bit better with the with the with the time delta or the time uh, the, the speed on 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 the steering wheel um, yeah in, in 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 situations like that but i don't think we will we will see less less safety cars this year oh so no there so will, there will, and they will they will still will be so um, plenty of plenty of safety car situations. The virtual car is supposed to be used along with the real safety car, or uh, in place no. of no, in, in it's, place it's of the double yellows. In place of double yeah, yellows. Yeah, more in place of that. That's how. Okay. I understand that. Yeah, let, let, we will have to see how how the how race control will will handle it. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I, I'm sure they'll I find a way to other... screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, like you're yeah. saying though, it's, it, it's hard control, to f- race control is a pretty, pretty, pretty tough job. I bet. Yeah, and, and we to give Charlie Whiting a little bit of credit. He's just doing, oh no, he, he's doing a, a good job. He, he always has yeah, been. Yeah, always has been. doing. A good. And I just, I just can't imagine a situation. You can have yeah, I just can't imagine one situation. One like if if Charlie Whiting gets sick one weekend, what do they do? Like, <laughs> do they- no, I, I have no idea. And that's, <laughs> there's uh, his deputy is uh, uh, Herbie Blash. I don't know if you know him. He's he's also also there oh, yeah. for ages, and and he's knowing all the all the procedures. So I think they will they will they would find one another one. Nice. Who who, 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 who could overtake? Uh, Take over the job. Hey, I, I I put an alarm to to go at the fifteen minute mark. We've passed no that problem. already. <laughs> you're yeah, no you're, problem, you're cool. <laughs> I want to yeah, ask you go, going. Be, because I know that it's it's common among F one fans wherever you go. If if, if they're American F one fans or Germans or something, there there is a one point that if you start talking to them, the conversation turns into what is wrong with F <laughs> one, and 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 how there's there's so many things that is that is rough. and it's it's kind of a thing that F one fans sort of love talking about. You know what? What would I do if I if if I was giving the, the you know if I was Bernie? What would the I do keys, better? Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but one thing that I, that I have seen and and that that, that, that recently like so somebody that caught my attention was Maurizio Arriva Bene, and I've been making a fuzz about him in the in this show for the last like three or four podcasts because I think that he's he's got his mind in the right place. Like what yeah. have you have you gotten a chance to talk to him to or hear him out like? No, yeah, not not personally, because I was always doing the live coverage thing on uh, during the testing days. Right. So I, w- I haven't been to his press conferences and uh, at oh. least, but I, I, no. I certainly know what what kind of guy guy he is and and what he's talking about. He's he's right. Something has to has to change. Formula One has to be more open um, open minded to doing stuff differently. You know, they're they're a little bit stuck in the in the old th- way of thinking. You know, and and um, especially with interaction with fans, for, for example, or, or yeah. getting getting access to to information that you haven't gotten before. I think Formula One has to open up a little bit. You could see it with the with the Alonso case. You know, it was pretty hard to get first any information at all you know and on that sunday in uh, in, in barcelona when when he crashed for for four or five hours mclaren wasn't saying anything you that's know? true and, and and they're still not really yeah and <laughs> yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're still 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 uh, a bit quiet but that something like that just just can't can't be happening you know right. there, there, there were hundreds of journalists and and then there's radio radio silence from the team so i think maurizio arrivabene is he has the right right set of minds. Now we have to see if he how he acts. If, if he if he's doing it, doing acting the way uh, he talks, you know. We but have he, to see. he's been around for a while. I remember because we we watched the Senna documentary again. Like with I was just at, at Dan's house and we watched the Senna documentary and I saw there he was there from back in the yeah. Senna days. But I guess uh, working for uh, Marlboro. Marlboro, yeah. Yes, correct. Philip Morris. He was he was the <laughs> PR. PR head of PR or stuff, uh, something like that. He was there in the uh, in in that function. He was there in the in the garage also. But you know, um, we will see if he's if he's a, a good team principal. You know, he got he is not he, if he's just a PR guy. You know, oh, yeah. he, shows, he showed that already that he, he he can do that. You know, he's yeah. he certainly is more how how do you say that flamboyant? I don't yeah. Know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he is more more outspoken like, like for sure. uh, his his predecessor. But um, let's see if he can keep all the engineers, uh, the drivers happy. You know, if he can make the right decisions in, in, in uh, technical questions, stuff like this. 
st stuff like that. He has, he has to prove that he that he has the, all all what it what it takes to be a good team principal, you know. But but it it, it mustn't be a bad thing, you know, coming from a PR job. You, you uh, just remember Flavio Briatore. He, he no, also had no 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 idea, no uh, no knowledge about about technical stuff. But he but he still was was a good uh, team principal. For yeah, but, yeah, but he's, he's, not, he's, not, he's not allowed in F1 anymore, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> also, he also made some, some bad decisions. <laughs> but but he, he, they won titles with him, so um, maybe can't only talk bad about him. For, no, for sure, for sure. I don't know. I, I think he, he was probably a funny guy, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was entertaining. And that's, that I, I, at least I hope uh, Arriva Ben is also, so to get a little bit more attention. No, for and, sure. And right. that's, that's all that counts. <laughs> I've been entertained so far for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, Toby, wh what do you think about uh, the, this, like the, the the new Honda engine? You've been there, you've seen it around. Is it any good? Like, wh have we not seen the full potential of it? Or uh, I, I, it, it hasn't proven yet that it, that it has what it takes. You know, the problem is um, Eric Bully said every time they they push the push the car really hard and and the engine pretty hard. They they uh, discovered another problem, you know. That okay. was, and and I don't know if they can. Um, they they find everything, they, um, they, every every problem, every everything that can go wrong. It's got to be in a shipping and, container right now. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know if they if they if they got everything um, uh, ready um, for for the homologation and and now the the, the engine is bulletproof. I I doubt it to be honest. Can you predict? Think, are they going to finish on Sunday? Mm, I wouldn't bet I'd bet on it. <laughs> both, <laughs> both cars? I wouldn't put my money on it. It's, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> no, uh, I don't think too many people least, would put their at, money at on At least, you know, they have to, they, they ran quite good when they when they turned the engine a bit down, you know, the, especially the, the, the energy recovery system when they um, de decreased the power a bit. But then, you know, the car is not, um, not good enough, you know. Yeah. But I heard when everything is working, I heard the, the, the horsepower, the, the, the performance uh, is there. Um, the, the, the Honda guys, they are quite quite confident. If, if they can get the engine reliable, it will be definitely be good enough to compete with the others. But you know, the, the problem is when, when will, the, when will be the moment when they, when they can get the, the, the engine bulletproof? You know? you know, In, I, I, how, how long will it take? You know? I heard a funny thing. Uh, um, actually, one uh, one of the listeners to the show he emailed us um, something that a Bulgarian reporter said. Anything, but apparently it's it's really funny to see how the British guys are getting along with the Honda Japanese engineers, and that sometimes there's like a culture barrier in between and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. That's always a, a problem with with the Japanese guys. You know, they have their own mind, and, and <laughs> British guys are also not not easy to work with uh, <laughs> from time to time. But it's it's a big cultural difference there uh, for sure. I, I don't know because uh, McLaren and Honda they have worked before together yeah. in in some areas. Now they have um, they have different uh, areas because uh, Honda is not uh, the McLaren is doing uh, most of the the. Um, the, the, the hybrid stuff, you know, uh, software and, and electronics, um, um, and, and they have to put it together in, in one in one one engine, one power unit, you know. And yeah. former times, Honda just brought their engine, you know. The, Here it is, the, race with yeah, it, yeah. Pick yeah. it in and go. Race with it, put <laughs> yeah. it in the car and race with it. It's a little bit more complicated now than in former years. Yeah, but yeah. They, it, I think they will they will definitely struggle this this year, but they. For maybe for next next season, then they they it's it's a learning year for sure. I I don't think they will will come they will challenge for uh, for wins or probably not not even podiums this year. Cool. Yeah. So, so All right. Let's wait. Uh, yeah, for sure. Hey, man, uh, I'm sure you got tons of stuff to do and you still have to keep packing and get, get to bed before tomorrow. So we won't yeah. keep you uh, much longer. Just uh, before, I guess, uh, again, th uh, thanks for coming. We'll uh, we'll see each other in Montreal, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, can do, we, can, we can do a little call-in again after, I don't know, after Bahrain or some, something like that, uh, before the European season, if you like. Perfect. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one, one more. I can, I can put in every time. Nice, nice. W one more thing, I, just because I, I know that the Reddit guys will love this. Would you ever consider doing a Reddit AMA? Uh, yeah, why not? For sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not a Reddit. I, 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 
I, I'm, I'm reading Reddit from uh, from time to time. I'm not not there always. I'm, I know what a Reddit AMA is, but I, I'm not even. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not. I have not signed in. You know, I don't okay. have a Reddit account. So we'll, we'll, I'm, we'll, we'll I'm not, talk about. I'm not it. sure how that works, but uh, <laughs> I'm definitely open to answer all the questions if if there are. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll talk and I'll guide you through this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're but a guy you with should, access. I'm sure a lot of people would have a lot of questions for you. Yeah, but I'm, guys, I'm not. I'm not that interesting. I, I, I'm <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. It's yes, not, it's 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 a different a different job than than staying uh, in an office twenty four seven. But it's not it's not that glamorous and, and cool. <laughs> it's a uh, job at the end of the day, eh? Yeah, it's a job. You earn your money. But it's, uh, it's, it's one of the better jobs. I, 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 sure. It's yeah. not what, what you guys may think, you know, that I'm always on uh, attending parties and, and getting sure. free shots and, and luxurious hotels. and Not always, but sometimes. Or stuff like that, no. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Tomorrow I'm sitting for 22 hours in economy class and try to get my, my knees uh, in, in shape, you know, stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's not 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 that that not not all not all of it. Not all glamorous. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, I'm man. Not, not complaining here. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Have a good one, and uh, yeah, we'll 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 keep talking. And th thank yeah. you so much. And yeah, thank thanks again. Thank nice you. to finally <laughs> no see problem. you. If you if you got a question that that, that bothers you, bugs you, uh, just write me an email or, or send me <laughs> a, a, on Twitter. All the, all the fans they can all try to get in in in, in contact with me on on Twitter. Uh, send me a tweet. Uh, oh. Um, and I try to answer all, but um, sometimes you know, I, I got a lot of them. But yeah, you got a lot of followers here. So you, you won't get fourteen hundred, fourteen thousand, oh, fourteen thousand. <laughs> Did you know that you have fourteen thousand followers on YouTube on uh, on the Twitter? Twitter. Yeah, ju just look at my my colleagues. There, there are a lot of them. They have uh, much more than. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Way to go. All right, man. Uh, yeah. Have a good one. Thanks so much, yeah. and uh, we so we'll talk. Yes. Yeah, have fun uh, flying. Me, Good luck bye -bye. with your flights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks. See you. See you. Bye. That was that was pretty awesome. That was cool. Yeah. Thank you, Toby. Yeah. Thank nice. you. Danke. Vielen, vielen Danke. Danke. <laughs> Dankeschön. Yeah.